Hey guys, welcome back to Mojo Group Mike here. So today I've got something really special for you. This aircraft is one of the most requested airplanes for me to review. If you're not familiar with the Czech Sports Cruiser, you may have been living under a rock because this airplane is one of the first to do it. When you think of light sport, the Sports Cruiser is one of the first uh, certified light sport aircraft here in the US and they've been in the market for over a decade now back in 2011 2012 but it's been around much longer than that and at the time Piper uh, the manufacturer here licensed this airplane okay they licensed it and certified it as a light sport aircraft and the goal back then was to obviously get more people into flying uh, a year or two later that whole partnership didn't work out but today we still have this airplane and it's known as the sports cruiser and the one you see here actually is their newest line uh, this is the 2019 model still looks good I've always thought that this airplane was sexy honestly I remember again watching those videos I always thought man this is a good-looking airplane and to think that they made it look even prettier it's amazing to me okay uh, if you're not familiar again this airplane being a light sport uses a road tax engine like other light sports in the market and it is a tricycle landing gear again being a light sport but a lot of really cool things a lot of new things have been changing this airplane and when you think of aesthetics alone okay first you have the bubble canopy uh, this is a like or hate type of <laughs> thing and hot summers it may get hot but then you've got this really nice cover here but what i honestly appreciate about this aircraft i love the color scheme i love the stripes on it a lot of airplanes you see out there they it's just so generic okay when they're designing an airplane they make it generic or the paint job is generic but you don't have that with these new lines of models and i'll show you a few examples also in the hangar there but you see the nice pattern uh paint scheme here i especially especially love this tail look at what they did back here really cool okay i love the paint job and the color scheme on this airplane they've got the nice logo and then red dots but you've got a big big rudder on the tail your stabilizer your entire empennage back here all right let's let's get inside though let's see what they took because to me that's where the good stuff is all right to open you have your hand grip there and you open wide Okay, let me make sure I'm not, all right, because it's, it's quite windy today, so I want to be careful here, but there you go. So guys, here is the interior of the sports cruiser. Now, most of the newer lines of sports cruiser comes with a dining sky view, which is an immaculate glass panel, okay? This one here, this model here is fully equipped with dining and look at the space in here let me get closer in okay you've got a lot of good space back here for extra baggage or whatever you need to put back there it is two seats now one thing uh, when I read up on this airplane it's uh, about 46 inches wide I just flew it by the way very comfortable very spacious so let's get in let's get in all right to get in from what I've been told see there's a grip here and there's also a nice hand grip here and I love this attention to detail because a lot of airplanes you just have to hold whatever you can grab onto but let's get in here just to show you how much attention is paid to detail here look at the pattern on this you know I just I don't know if it's a European thing look at the seats this is a light sport look at the beefed up seats you have in a light sport. and I'm sitting in this thing it's super comfortable but I just I love the attention that's paid to detail here but you have a really nice interior comfortable again when you're a pilot understand that you're gonna be spending a lot of your time in here 
So why not have something nice to sit in rather than just a bunch of steel and hard surfaces around you? So I love that they have soft touches everywhere. Even look, even this middle uh, console thing, it's it's a soft touch. I appreciate this. And as you can see, again, full glass panel. You don't have a lot of buttons. I actually had one of the comments on the recent videos I had was why do airplanes have so many buttons and what are those buttons for and as you can see in this airplane it's pretty clean and you can appreciate that where there's not so much confusing buttons all of your stuff that you need data information it's within this panel that you have in front of you you've got a primary display here another nice glass there uh, another one here and then your radio and this is a beautiful thing guys your parachute in case of an emergency you have that option for you being a light sport let me show you the middle console here being a light sport okay you only have a throttle to worry about so you got your throttle lever here uh, your fuel valve selector here uh, to change tanks uh, and that's it you know again I love the fact that they just had a clean design you don't have a lot, lot of buttons. This is your flap uh, switch, which is electronically controlled. Uh, button to turn off your autopilot. And look, these are your switches for your electronics. Master, EFIS, avionics, fuel pump, all of that good stuff. And then look how, much, how many buttons you have for your circuit breakers. I can count this. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, see the circuit breakers you can literally count them with your fingers there's only 10 circuit breakers here again it makes everything looks clean and here you have your airspeed okay again being a light sport you see your VNE 138 knots uh, maneuvering speed is 88 and you have your stall speed okay see see how low this thing stalls <laughs> 31 knots dirty 31 knots with flaps on that's how slow this airplane can fly which is amazing i'm used to flying no less than 60 knots or 50 knots in the airplanes that i'm i'm used to flying so with this airplane there's a lot more room to fly slower which is a good thing it's not always about speed when it comes to airplanes okay so let me turn on this avionics for you real quick see how nice this sky view looks on camera Hope it shows nicely on uh, on screen, but uh, you know a lot of newer modern airplanes. You know you go for the Garmin, either G1000, G3000, 3X Touch, but not a lot is said about the Dynan platform. And again, personally, I don't have a lot of experience, but I can tell you just the the crispiness of this screen it's really sharp it's really sharp there's so many options also when we flew this early i love the the see right here like if i was flying this airplane right now i don't even really need a second screen everything i need is right here i've got all of my flight display i've got my engine uh data here that i can know what's going on if i need to all right you've got your airspeed uh and on the right side, you have your rate of climb, uh, your radio stuff, and your navigation stuff you've got here. You've got your engine stuff, and you have a ton, a ton of options uh, with this uh, primary display. So like I said, Dynan is a fine, fine uh, avionics if you ever choose to, to go with the Skyview. And I think it's, it's a bit cheaper than Garmin. Uh, but they're both, they're both great platforms. But this is what it looks like, very crisp, uh, very modern, uh, very nice to look at for sure. We went out, flew earlier, I saw a climb rate, no joke guys, we were climbing between 800 
and a thousand feet per minute. I didn't think this airplane can climb that fast. I honestly was thinking in the 600, 700 ish. We were definitely seeing about a thousand in some cases. And it was two of us, two grown adults uh, in the airplane. You can go on a cross country flight. This thing will go over 600 miles. And the best part is <laughs> it's a light sport. So you're burning four to six gallons of fuel per hour traveling over 100 knots. Okay, you, you're cruising 100 miles, 120, 130. 30 miles per hour burning that little amount of gas and also as you, some of you may know road tax takes more gas so that's even cheaper one thing i should also mention guys i showed you that parachute inside look this is where your parachute comes out of all right now with a lot of the newer modern airplanes with a parachute they now have it where the system is just not one side or where it's not just on the nose or just the back and then if you were to activate it you're kind of like on a nose dive or upside down now with the with the particularly with the sports cruiser okay your brs is here you see it right there it comes out from here but also you have it out from the nose and then also from the back there okay so that way you have a more balanced airplane if you were to activate that parachute okay this airplane is stacked for a light sport it is fully stacked so i hope you guys enjoy this tour of the sports cruiser if you have any questions please leave in the comments below i'm gonna pass along to uh, sports cruiser here and if this is your first time and you enjoy this video give a thumbs up thank you so much for watching again my name is mike and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace